subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! A very exciting day here at the Stokeman Strength Centre. As the phrase, phrase goes, out of the old and in with the new. So we are replacing the old gym equipment with some new hammer strength equipment, some beasts, some plate loaded stuff, so it's going to be awesome. We cannot wait to try. The lorry's just turning as we speak. The old stuff's just lying out here just now, so we're selling all that. That's gone. There's three lads in, ready to go. We've emptied all the, the new extensions. So it looks weird with no, no equipment in it. It looks like it's just back to normal. We've also just cleaned the cold tub as well. Look at this, guys. Right, there used to be things living in here, right? But, uh, still a bit smelly. Hello! Uh, we got some new equipment in the gym. Uh, the Life Fitness guys, he installed the Hammer Strength stuff, so we're going to give you a little tour. So, Harry is going to be our demo model. Starting with the wide seated bench, um, bench press. So, as you can see, it's pretty substantial. It's massive. It's a fair old size. So, this will give you a really nice pump in your chest and your pecs. Um, obviously, you can load it up. This is one of my favourite, when I was more bodybuilding days. This is one of my favourite pieces of equipment. The reason we got the wide one, Harley, Tom and myself are a little bit wider and hopefully the members in here will become wider as well. So, you're welcome. Upgrading the gym um, as much as we can, as much as the space allows. So, like I said, we've got six pieces today, starting with the uh, wide seated chest press. Next, we are going on to this big black beauty the leg press. It makes Harry look pretty small as well. It's a huge piece of uh, equipment, very sturdy, um, a lot more sturdy than the last leg press we had. Um, just at the bottom, slide it out. <laughs> so yeah, so very nice. I'm really impressed with the, the leg press. 53 kilograms <coughs> starting weight, 53. Just right. knowledge for you. Yep. Harry can read, well done. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, uh, good reading. So that's a leg press, so we've got the wide chest press. One of the best leg presses you can get. Unfortunately, we have to miss this one out the seated lateral. It's uh, what a couple of bolts are missing. We'll come back that, to that when uh, the guys finish mm -hmm. installing that. The next piece of equip equipment is the lateral low row the seated row. Um, we had one before but it wasn't the best. The angles weren't quite right but for me this is this feels amazing. It's so nice. Uh, there's no weight on it just now. Harry's just going to demonstrate. You can really squeeze your upper back. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And it doesn't take up too much room as well in the corner. So before we had the leg press here, what's got on the way of the lights, it was just a bit of an inconvenience. It wasn't the best kind of set set up. So the guys from Life Fitness, they designed the plan and said, this is where uh, we think you should put your equipment. Loads of room. So we're going to have a word with them. They're going to redesign it and try and fit in a couple more bits of equipment in. So that'll be pretty cool. Next, we have the oh. hack squat. Yeah, this is a naughty bit of kit here. Really pumping the quads um, and the glutes. It's actually a little bit different as well, as you can see. A lot of, a lot of hack squats. You start with the, the pads on your shoulders. I really, really like this one. So, Harry, if you just squat right up, you can see there's still a good kind of six, seven inches uh, to the top. So, Tom, uh, yeah, and, and Tom. So, Tom, we know Tom can um, use this as well. So. That's a big, uh, a big bonus for us, um, and it's just an easy one to use. It's, you don't have to think too much about it. So, yeah, really another great piece of equipment. Um, and then, last, by no means least, the wide uh, lap pull down. The good thing about this as well, you can adjust on all the all the the machines. You can adjust the leg rest in the seat up and down, so you can make sure you get that full range of uh, movement. Um, which is critical. So a lot of 
uh, lap pull downs, I find myself kind of stopping there and not getting that full extension. Um, with these ones, you can see Harry's full extension. Um, and we can move the seat down a little bit lower as well. So, really happy, really buzzing with all the new equipment. Hope you guys are too that come and train in the Stolten Strength Centre. We appreciate that it's been a bit of a long run um, with the equipment that we've had. Some of it's not been the best, some of it's kind of broken and uh, been out of order for a, a number of weeks now, so apologies. Come and use it, it's here to be used. Come and use all the equipment, all the new equipment in the Stolten Strength Centre. Enjoy it, train. We've got going. Get on with our deadlifts. You'll be seeing my pretty face first doing deadlifts because I'm way off to Glasgow. Uh, we're trying to set up as close to the Giants Live setup as we can, so as you can see, we've got the big gold wheels. This we're set, it's done, you know, on uh, some bumpers and some mats, so we can raise it up to the same height. So we're trying to get as close to the Giants Live set as we can. Today I'll be working off 320s, so uh, for three sets. So let's see what happens, and uh, let's get going. Yeah, training's a uh, hit and miss. I've started back properly Monday, so it's going good. So hopefully I can get another good deadlift session today. Good session tomorrow, then end the week on a high. But it's been going the last few days. It's actually been going good, so hopefully I can keep it up and uh, keep getting back into this routine every day now. So stay spicy. I've been to Giant Slide before. We're always on a platform with the big massive globe things. Uh, so obviously we've got the gold big wheels and then making a makeshift platform so we get used to the kind of setup it's gonna be. You know, having a floor there's a lot of space but with that platform it's quite small. So it's just to get a picture for it and get it in our head. So when we get there, it's not, not gonna be new for us. We used to do this a lot, training for like Britons and stuff and it helped big time. So hopefully this will be, you know, a big benefit for us. <laughs> What's the plan with this, Don? Um, it's meant to be three sets, so I'm just going to see what the first set feels like and then take it from there, you know. Again, I just want to try my best just to. Yeah, get, get back to deadlifting and stuff because obviously I'm not deadlifting in a while properly so Axel Bar 320 will be the heaviest since the world so let's do it. Would you ever go for the world record as well? No. Would you not? Pointless for me. I mean, by the time I get up to 501 it'll probably be 505 so at the stones. Yep. Come on. Oh, f sake. Oh, God. Yeah, nice to get the weight back on. F you know. It's good. Um, confidence now, you know. Five reps. Jeez, uh, I can hardly talk. So. The hamstring's good as gold now. Is that the heaviest you've been since your injury, yeah? Yes. Most of dead than an axle was 260, so... Well, 360 at Royal Albert Hall, but... Apart from that, this is the heaviest for five routes. <sighs> Trying to get back into routine is not just about gym, it's conditioning and stuff. I started some conditioning on Wednesday, but... I'm back to square well, I was pretty buggered. Uh, but I've added that in, hopefully, events. You know, when I do events again as well, it's going to be my event, my first full event day as well for a while, so that's going to be taxing, but right now I'm just taking my time between sets. I, you know, I don't get any more brownie points if I do a set and wait a minute, I'm waiting till I'm ready, then I'll go again, so the goal is to get another set of this of five reps, so that would be a very good kind of place for me as well, considering, you know, one, one meal as well and how busy we've been, it'll be a good kind of bit of knowledge. Uh, 
help me, sorry, mentally, not knowledge. <laughs> help me mentally to kind of get back into it. Yep. Gone, done. Oh, oh stop there. Second set there, two reps. Just not strong enough. Like I said, I've not been doing deadlifting for a while, so it's been kind of, you can see, you know, I got one set of five done. I thought I'd get at least another set, but just not today. Um, body's kind of beating up big time because I'm back for training properly, so it's quite hard to kind of get back into the routine of things as well. So. Um, still, you know, happy enough, 320 for 5, then 320 for 2. This thing, my hamstring's still playing in the back of my mind a wee bit as well. Even for the visio and stuff said it's all good, I can still feel it a wee bit twitchy, so, you know, that's annoying me a wee bit as well, but, you know, one set done in two reps, it's, you know, it's still good in the morning as well. Right, we're training. I've never been 100%, like you've seen in the Rolls Royce man prep, there was loads of stuff, times where I just walked out the gym, you know, I didn't train very well, but it's, how you perform on the day and that's why me and Luke are trying to train at like 11, 12 o'clock so when we go to Giants or these tops that are 5 or 6 you've got an extra three meals in you, you're more fueled up and stuff. Right now we're training on like empty basically, loads of fatigue, you know obviously out the gym our lives are very busy right now as well so we just don't make excuses we're coming in if we don't hit the weights we either drop them or we leave it at that you know as long as, long as we get a minimum one set done then it's fine and that's what I did today was one set and basically a half, so it's all good. We're on to some accessory stuff now. Hope you enjoy my deadlifting. That's me finished up for the day. I trained a bit earlier than Luke and Harry, who you'll see soon, deadlifting. Hopefully have a good session and then uh, myself and Luke will be back for events on Friday together. Stay spicy. So as you know, Tom's just jetted off to Ibrox. He's got an important match to go to. <laughs> Priorities. Uh, Priorities, so he's left the hurricane. At least we can say the hurricane, right, for a change. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're deadlifting. I've got, so basically what Tom was doing, we've got the axle deadlift set up. What are you up to? Uh, your I'm doing conventional deadlifts uh, with a Texas bar. I might go for one rep max, just work my way up, see how I feel, and take it from there. And then after, so we've just got the new um, gym equipment, the Hammer Strength guys, they've been up and installed it. So Thank big shout out to, to them guys, yeah. So, We'll get some accessories done. Um, we've got the seated row and the seated lat pull down as well, so we're going to use that after as part of our accessories. So I'm going to get. Oh, and another thing as well. Whoa. I've just got a new deadlift suit. Woohoohoo! Sexy. And Tom's actually got one as well, so we've both got these little metal jack suits, so it feels really tight. Thousand pound club coming soon, Simon. Thousand. How does it fit compared to the other one? Really tight. <laughs> this is how a deadlift suit's supposed to feel. Just felt my other one feels like I just had a pair of shorts on. They see me. Holy. <laughs> Probably not going to feel like that when I'm deadlifting. Deadlifts today, I'm going to just warm it up just now. I'm at 180, I'm going to go up to 200, and then 220, and then hopefully 235, and if I'm feeling extra spicy, 240, but we'll kind of gauge it uh, after 220, you know? What's your current max just now, mate? Uh, 230, yeah. Um, I tried, two weeks ago I tried 240, got it up to the knees, and it just wasn't there, so fingers crossed I can get it, get it this week. That's fine, too quick. Can't breathe, man. It's just a lot tighter. My old one had more spring. So I don't know, it's like a single ply suit, if that's what you call it. Tricky one because it's 
stops you from breathing as much, which isn't so good. But um, you think once you get used to it, it'll get better. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just getting into that position and knowing what you're feeling like, knowing how it feels. Straps down at the moment helps. I do feel a bit of a pop off the ground. So that's 280 and it's fine. Um, so go up to, I'll probably just put 320 on now and try a few reps. Let's see how that goes. Slowly. Come on, Harry. Go. Let's go, Harry. Just lifted the two three five. Felt nice and smooth. It felt fucking spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Simon. I'm really, uh, really delighted with it. I think I'm going to jump up and do 240. <laughs> Over the past kind of four months I've been slowly increasing my, my PBs with uh, the help of Dan. But that just felt, uh, it was a good day for it. It felt really strong and just everything was right. Um, a bit better than my squat session uh, on Monday. But you kind of win some and lose some, don't you? So happy with that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was a grinder that one. <laughs> Did another PB, a 240, which I'm over the moon by. I knew it was in there as soon as I hit 235, I knew the 240 was in there. I looked at the video there and it looked quite a solid pool. I onwards and upwards. Yeah. <laughs> Working up to the, the 240, uh, I've had massive help with Dan. He's He's coached me this past kind of few months. He's really kind of tailored the, the the training program for me, and it's it's obviously, as you can see, paid off. Come on, Luke. Let's go. Well, that's looked back. Good. Can I ring the bell, Harry? Mm, I want to ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, anyway, that's uh, Deadlifts done. Harry hit a wee PB there, 240 yeah. kilos you're up to now, so yeah. that's good. Happy with that. Moving in the right. Oh, there's big Arnie in the helicopter. So, yeah, got all the hammer stretch stuff in. Again, really chuffed with that. Hopefully, all the guys using it are too. Yeah, happy enough with the Deadlift. Tried the Deadlift suit. It's just going to take a little while for me, I think, to break that in. It's a lot stiffer than my last one, so I'll probably just use the one that I've been using because we've only got two weeks. Um, and yeah, so all good. Happy enough for your session? Yeah, delighted with it. Two PBs, 235 and 240, so can't ask for anything more than that. 250 would have been nice. But 250 would have been nice. I mean, only yeah. No, good PBs are always a good one, setting two, B, two PBs in one session. It's not bad. Not bad. Harry's got some gains coming, yo. Good boy. Where do you think Harry's gonna start competing? Comment below. When do you think Harry's going to win Scotland's Strongest Man? Comment below. Anyway, we are done for the day. What are you up to? Rest of the day, Harry? Mm. 
nothing much. Chill out, eat. That's it. Good. Yeah. Same. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Harry, can you take over Tom's little speech? Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. Ooh, and please keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. ding, 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 ding.